Okay, here we go. So now I am talking here to Robert Vandevoort here from uh, Pro English, and uh, we're here at CPAC uh, 12, and we are uh, discussing the uh, various issues regarding uh, naming English as the uh, official language of the United States. Is that correct? That's correct, yeah. Our organization works to make English the official language of the United States, mm -hmm. both the federal and the state level. And we're pushing a bill by Congressman Steve King, which would do just that. It's the HR997. And if you check out our website at growenglish.org, you can find out lots of good information about it. Okay. And so, uh, what, are, what, what is the overall cost to the taxpayer of maintaining all the various languages other than English? Well, there's, you're right. There's a big cost to the taxpayer. There's also a big cost in terms of uh, our elections. We spend a lot of money translating ballots into multilingual and bilingual ballots, which also creates a risk of fraud and so is there also a concern about the long-term cohesiveness of the country? There is, yeah. And one of the reasons we're pushing so hard to make English our official language for government purposes is we believe it would send a signal to people that this is the language they need to know and want to assimilate it. I, I, I totally agree with that. I mean, I, I myself, my wife is German, uh -huh. so I, you know, but uh, the, on the other hand, we, you know, handled her immigration completely according to the book and paid about this, you know, this much money or so. Right, right. The, so we did, we, we did the right thing, and so it, it's, it's kind of excruciating to see the sort of lack of interest in applying the same set of rules. That we well, exactly. Actually, our chairman, Rosalie Porter, she came here at the age of six, not knowing English, she she's become a real expert on these issues, language, and why bilingual education isn't working. We need to reform that and create English immersion so that people learn the language. So, in your, uh, you know, education reform is probably another can of worms. I don't know if you really want to diverge into that too much. Well, it's, I mean, that's something we work at the state level as well to try to get rid of bilingual education laws because they don't work. Work, and they keep students trapped in their language and they don't get to learn English the way they should be. So we really do favor an English immersion approach. Okay, well, I am uh, very interested here. I'll, 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 I'll confess that this is, uh, that I, I'm, I'm sort of new to the pro English uh, stuff there, but I'll be very interested in getting this uh, interview uh, up on the website so you can get your message out. Right. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Yeah.